Welcome guys to the new series, the Yamaha R3 project. I'm going to basically explain it again in this video. Basically I did all the editing and I thought the intro wasn't great. So let me get in depth of what the Yamaha R3 project is. It's basically simple as my new Yamaha R3, it needs some mods. I've basically bought a shit ton of mods for it, from exhausts, to heated grips, to bar ends, to screens, everything. You'll get to see that in a minute, I'll go through kind of each little item. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome time, I have no mechanical experience whatsoever, I've fitted exhausts and indicators and shit to my, my, my bikes, that's pretty much it, so it's going to be good fun, I'll have my trusty assistant, aka my dad, help me, um, the girlfriend, but apart from that, it's just going to be me trying to fit some shit to my bike, basically. It should be a good project. I'm going to enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the video. Boom! So what is going on, guys? Sorry for the echo. I'm in, in the kitchen because this is the only place that had some space where I can fit all this. <laughs> As you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff here. And this isn't all of it. <laughs> it's mad to say, I've still got a steering damper, a chain and some sprockets. I've got rim tape, which sounds wrong, but will rim tape. <laughs> um, I think that's most of it. If not, it's all on screen. Everything's linked in the description so you can go check it out and see all the list that's there. But I thought I'd go through it because this is, this is the only time I'm going to have most of it all together because tomorrow I'm fitting the screen and the full system. Now I've already got the Acra slip on already, uh, already on there, so just got to fit that, put the slip on on, and we're oh, real good. So let's go through some of this stuff. Um, RNG, I might look like I'm sponsored by RNG here. I fucking wish I was. I love their stuff. My Grom's kitted out with it, so. You know, their, their stuff is awesome. You can't go wrong with RNG. RNG engine cover. RNG engine cover for the other side. k air filter. k oil filter. Some black passenger pegs. R6 throttle tube. Shock tube for RNG. RNG racing uh, chain toe guard thing. These are the fork protectors. That is the swing arm protector. Engine cover. A fancy fuel cap, headers cover, ram mount, RNG bar ends, RNG tank pad, uh, tank grips, oh, I've got a tank pad coming as well, There's some carbon fiber, fire valve things, a black brake cylinder thingy, Oxford heated grips because it's fucking cold, tinted black screen, rear hugger, they're not from RNG, and some stickers and things and instructions are already in there, so yeah, all this stuff is crazy, I've spent a lot on this R3 already, Obviously, it's already got its crash protection on from RNG, um, Acro slip on, some mini indicators. I've got some uh, Vortex clip ons as well coming. So, yeah, this bike is kitted out. I, there's, that's pretty much most of what is going on. What I may do in the future, because I ran out of money, if I'm honest, is some steel braided lines. Maybe do the Brembo brakes conversion thing where you use a Tiger performance. Uh, Thing and put Brembo brakes on it. Yeah, may do that, but I ran out of money, and that's a lot of money to spend. And already, this is a lot of money to spend. What I quite like about the full system, we'll go through bits and bobs now. What what I love about this full system is it's not actually the Acro full system. This was custom made, um, and then the Acro just slips on. This only came to 150 with it getting posted to me. So what I'm going to do with all this stuff is I'm going to make a new series called the Yamaha R3 project. Some of the stuff is I have no idea how to do but it should, should be fun. So yeah what I'm going to do is th this new project each each video will put something different on and then see what it's like. Obviously when I put the full system on I'll have to do a video on that separately but yeah hopefully this bike's going to be so beast when I get all of this on. But yeah that's I just wanted to kind of do this video now. This will be with some other bits. But yeah, this is this is most of it. I can't wait to get this thing on. It's good. This, this bike's going to look amazing, and I can't wait for this. So make sure you subscribe so you get to see all these videos. 
if you uh, hit the notification button thing, the bell button, you'll get a notification every time I make a video. So you'll see this every Sunday when it comes out, if it's every Sunday. So you won't miss it. So make sure you do that. It already helped me. And then, you know, you can enjoy me modifying my R3 with all these fucking bits. Plus more bits. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to enjoy putting the rest of this stuff on. It's going to be good fun. Um, I will see you in the series. Peace. So yes, this is the full system. It looks mint. It weighs like nothing. I don't know exactly the specs. You can find it down on the website. I got it from Bike Bits. Did come from Thailand. So we'll see what the, the quality looks amazing on it, but we'll see how it performs and everything. So what I'm gonna be doing, fitting this, slipping an Acra slip on on top of it. I'll also get a tuning thing. So I'll tune it as well with the k air filter and oil filter. Hopefully it sounds good. I really hope it does. The bike at the moment sounds really great. If you haven't checked out the exhaust video, links in the card, you can go check it out. But as I said in that video, it needs a full system. Like I need a loud bike. When I'm filtering stuff, you know, if I've got a loud pipe on, they're gonna hear me before they even see me. So that's what I love about loud pipes. They do say lives. Yeah. You can probably see the camera in the reflection. You can't see me. <laughs> um, it's completely black. It's not matte black, but it kind of looks like it. It's like a glossy black. It looks really sweet. It's going to change the appearance of the bike completely. I've gone with all kind of all black theme, and hopefully it doesn't stick out too much. I don't like the ones that really stick out and look horrible. So this should be nice and flush, just like the stock one. We'll see what it's like. This will be the second thing I'm fitting. So this is the k &N oil filter and air filter. I fit this on my KTM and it seemed to make a bit of a difference on performance wise. Hopefully it will do as well as, the, as it did with the KTM as the R3. Obviously when I get my tune in, as I said, I'm gonna tune it to make sure it's like completely fine with having all this new airflow and stuff. So should be sweet, should be pretty simple to fit. Just gotta find where the, where the air filter is on the R3. Um, and oil filter, changing the oil is, is no problem, so, yeah. This is the fork protectors and the swing arm protectors. They're pretty beefy, they're RNG, so they're good quality. Hopefully, if I do go down, this will protect me. That's why I got most of this RNG stuff. I've spent a lot of money for the modifications. I might as well buy some crash protection, just in case I do go down. It's not gonna destroy the bike too badly, and that these things can be replaced pretty simply, so. That's why I've got these. We'll see how I fit them. May have to go to a mechanic to get these fitted because wheels and stuff never go well with me. So, RNG for the win. Sticking with RNG, these are the engine covers, left and right. Just in case I do go down as well, this is gonna protect the engine from scratching up too badly. Should hopefully work, should be an easy fit, just a bolt on job. In the box, I'll open it up for you. It's going to be kind of hard to do with gloves on though. Where is the start of the box? It is here. 
Oh, there we go. There you go. Just a bolt on job. These are good quality, don't get me wrong. They're RNG, but they're kind of expensive. I think they were about 60 quid? Correction if I'm wrong on screen. As I said with the swing arm protectors and stuff, it's there just in case I need it. So this is the RNG shock tube. Spicy put one on his, on Divi. Uh, if you haven't seen Spicy, go check him out. He's another motor vlogger in the UK. Love his stuff. He put one on his, and I wasn't actually gonna get one of these until I saw his, his video, and I was like, do you know what? It does look kind of good with a, with a shock tube, so. This, this is a really easy fit. It literally just straps on around the, around the shock, so easy peasy lemon squeezy, really. The shock on the R3 is white. Nothing else on the bike is white, so. Again, another RNG item. This is the, this is the tow guard. It's a pretty simple fit. It looks sweet, I love it. Uh, wasn't expensive, so I thought, might as well get it. Protect the bike a little bit more. Why not? <laughs> so here we have the Oxford heated grips. This is actually a gift for me from the missus for my birthday. So in the, in the winter in the UK, it gets really chilly. I tend to wear quite a lot of summer gloves, even if I'm wearing my winter gloves. These may come in handy a little bit. I've never used heat grips before. There was a couple of people on the on the ride out when we went that had a couple of heat grips and I loved them and I wanted them ever since. Not sure how I'm going to fit them with the R3, how bad it is going to be. Hopefully it should be an easy install. A lot of people get these, so I, I you know, hopefully it doesn't ruin the, the look of the bike, but I don't think it will and I actually really like these grips. They look sweet and they feel really great. Like I don't see any problem with these. And it's gonna be lush on my hands. So I thought I'd quickly go through the last bits, the RNG stuff. The bar ends, these actually weigh quite a bit. Um, they help with any vibrations or anything for the R3. There's not much vibration, but they've already the R3 comes with like some bar end sliders anyway. So these will help massively. Radiator covers, these weren't too expensive. I didn't know if I should get both. Definitely get both um, with the R3. They look great, I got them in black because the bike's black obviously. This is a kickstand shoe. You just slot the kickstand shoe in there. It looks sweet, I liked it. It's not really gonna do a lot, but it looks sweet. The tank grips, because when I go through the twisties, gripping onto, uh, gripping onto the tank and stuff, that's gonna come in handy. That's the stickers that go there. Some alcohol wipes for them to stick on, you know, clean it and shit. And if you haven't seen my ride out, my first first ride on the R3, then you wouldn't know that for some reason on the crash bungs, bug, the, the crash sliders, one side does not have that RNG sticker, so I had to get an RNG sticker. As you can see, it came with two. I already tried putting one on and it fell off. <laughs> So I'm going to use the super glue that came with the Oxford heated grips to make sure that stays on. <laughs> but yeah, that's the last bit of the RNG stuff. So an R6 throttle tube. If you don't know who Jake the Garden Snake is, you've been living under a rock. He put an R6 throttle tube on his MT-07 and it gave me an idea to see if they did one for the R3 and they did. And I found one. So it basically just gives it a shorter action for you, you to get full throttle of the bike. Should help a little bit and I don't have to yank my wrist all the way around. And I got this really cheap, it's a second hand one but it does the job. Still in perfect condition so why not? Now this doesn't really need an introduction. If you've seen my Grom videos you would have seen this. If you've seen any of the big YouTubers you would have seen one of these. It's Ram Mount, they are amazing for what they do. I've just got a, a bolt on one, um, it works perfectly. Like that's just gonna screw on and then bolt it in there and job done basically. They're absolutely amazing. Bigger YouTube have done videos on these, so go check them out. I'll put one in the description so you can go watch it. But yeah, if you're looking for a foam mount, RAM mounts are the best. Now the last three small items. Zoop. These are just some black footrests for the passenger. On the R3 stock, they're silver, 
I could have just sprayed them, but I like these black ones. They look pretty good. The missus said you should get some of these, so I did. This, this is pretty much it. They look great. Can't really go wrong. This inside here is for the brake reservoir. Just goes on top. It says R3. If I didn't hold it upside down, it would say that. It's again really good quality. It's CNC, so it looks great. It's just going to be that little extra feature on the R3. As well with the carbon fiber tire valves. You can't really see them too well. But they look sweet. You won't really see them on the bike, but they were inexpensive and I thought they looked kind of cool. Yeah. That is everything so far. If you're excited to see what I've got coming for this video, as I said, make sure you subscribe so you see the whole of the series. I've still got a steering stabilizer, which I will make a video on these as well, add it into the series. St steering stabilizer, Vortex clip-ons, gold chain and sprocket, can't remember where from, um, some rim tape, and some other bits. It's gonna look sweet. I can't wait to start this series. I'm gonna start filming it tomorrow, putting the exhaust and the screen on. Should be sweet. So, I will see you then. Peace out.